Beaver here, and yes, today we are going to be finally working on my mod guide for the X shot long shot. So, as you can see, this isn't how I got it stuck. Um, I've already started doing some things in here, but that was more for a test and proof of concept to make sure everything worked right before I did this video. Um, I'll go over what I've actually done in depth more so when we get to the workbench, uh, but this is going to be, obviously you can see a replacement barrel, replacement spring in here. We're gonna be doing the cosmetics on this, plus I got other stuff that I'm gonna be doing internally with this as well. Um, like I said, I'll go over everything when we get to the workbench. Uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna waste too much more time rambling. Uh, I do have a little bit of straightening up before I can actually get to this. So I'm going to take care of that, but you will see the workbench when we pick up from here. So I'm going to go do that. Okay, so here you can, as I said earlier, you can already see I've already made some changes on this. So, but this wasn't kind of to jump ahead of things. This was more to make sure things were working properly. So first and foremost, what I did to try and extend the barrel first was I took the original piece here and much like how Walcom did, I just took my Dremel and I bored it out enough to where I could get the barrel through. And kind of like Walcom, I did that just a little too much to where once it was through, it was a little loose and wasn't really gripping the barrel. Uh, that was actually solved with figuring out where the barrel set and then like kind of like where it would be reaching there and then just putting a bunch of e-tape on the barrel itself so this way it wasn't getting pulled out there was like enough on there to hold it everything in place so there's that however that i've already replaced with the replacement and barrel swappable front end muzzle from foam demic uh what I've also gone ahead and done is I got a couple of springs from Silver Fox. So I have an SF25 in here currently, and it is doing an amazing job. I also got this Captain Slug front grip uh, from uh, Silver Fox as well. Uh, and honestly, this is very comfortable. Yes, it does stick out a little bit, but you know what? It really does. It makes it so much nicer to prime than the, the other thing that I don't like. Um, and you can see in the back end here, I've already kind of started doing my color scheme. Um, it's the charcoal gray vinyl dye, uh, the orange release or uh, lock, locking button here that went red. And then of course I did my uh, purple metallic over it. So what we're gonna be doing is I'm going to Obviously, I'm doing the repaint. The reason I did this piece first was because I honestly was not sure how the Hydro Dip or whatever, however they did the skins on here, if I would have to do sanding or if I could just put the vinyl dye over it and then pray to God it didn't like scratch off and everything. Um, when I put the vinyl dye on, it did take and it looked fine. However, I did notice that there was a little bit of tackiness on it after a while. Uh, so on this side of it, you can actually see, unfortunately, where I did my nail scratch tests. And you can see here, there was a good scratch. There was a good scratch. I didn't get anything here. And the reason I did that is because when I went to go tape it off, this, in this little piece right here, the vinyl dye actually peeled right off. So it kind of got me bummed, but I did the other sides. I repainted that. I let it sit for a few hours actually, and that actually set up right. Um, yes, I've been doing this for years and I'm still as impatient as ever when it comes to this stuff. Uh, but then I put the vinyl dye, the, once the vinyl dye was set and I got the everything taped off, I did my metallic purple lacquer on it and yeah and the rest is golden it looks like i may have to touch up a little bit on the carry handle but that's fine i mean i have to take this thing apart anyway um but yeah so i'm not going to be doing any sanding on here which again huge pain in the ass but on the flip side though 
with any of like the lettering so like the x shot the caution probably all the stuff here because that actually does feel pretty raised um i don't know how well it's showing up on camera but you can actually still see um all of that through the purple which i think is going to be kind of neat so i mean it's going to be in my colors but it's still going to have a little bit of that um detailing from the skins on here so yeah the primary body is going to be mainly purple i have to figure out what i'm taping off to keep the gray showing through um, the grip is definitely going to go gray which means the trigger well is going to go gray and i'll probably just leave this bottom here gray as well um, so anything that like kind of already is gray is probably going to stay gray it's just going to be a matter of figuring out what within the skin itself is going to be uh, per is going to stay gray and the rest is going to go purple uh, probably like I did on the back end here, like any of the individual cutouts or um, recesses, that's most probably what I'm going to wind up making gray. Um, so this way there's still going to be a lot of purple on here, but there's also going to be a nice mix of everything. Uh, lastly, anything orange, like the trigger, the safety, the release, the adapter, and the magazine. Uh, release are all going to go red as like I would normally do uh, from there it's going to be a question of what am I going to do with this however uh, I'm probably actually going to leave the plunger tube orange and the reason I say that because I know it's going to look oh, it's going to look off and I understand that but the reason being is because um sources for for plunger tube replacement materials have already been sourced out already uh frontline foam is going to be carrying them i don't know who else is going to be carrying them but i was actually given a tip that uh they were found on i think it was taobao i think or possibly alibaba i'm not sure um yeah i don't remember which one it is but honestly it's wherever frontline's getting it from is the same place that i was told that you can just get it from as well but yeah, so I'm probably going to wind up replacing that at some point, give or take. Um, just so right now it makes no sense to try and paint that. Um, so yeah, that's going to go like that. And yeah, so let me get this opened up. I'll show you kind of the configuration of what I have currently. What else is going to be going in here and then... I'm going to start uh, painting and I'll show you how that goes along. This is what basically has been done so far. Um, as far as the adapter goes, I've actually removed the lever that releases the half dart magazine from the adapter itself. Uh, mainly being is because I really like this release on it and also it you won't get your releases confused while the adapter is in there um, without it it still works totally fine I have learned that with the adapter you do have your two ways of uh, using using it with being either a talon or a katana if you're using just solely talon magazines you can technically remove the katana part of it um, however I have learned uh, through just testing myself and all that doing so actually makes the catch weaker um, like when I put a magazine in I would actually be able to just pull it out it never fell on its own but I didn't like that so I put everything kind of back to the way it was just without the release lever here and the magazines work fine. I cannot pull them out. They totally hold. So, yeah. Um, so, there's that. Um, I also have these two rings, uh, or these spacer rings, printed uh, for me by my friend Chris Harper, who I also did the uh, Warhammer uh, pistols for. Uh, the Where these are going to go is going to go one's here, one here. And it's going to put a little bit more compression on the spring itself. Uh, I already have replaced the original stock spring. This is an SF25 from Silver Fox. You can use regular K25 as well. 
Um, I heard the SF25 springs uh, worked very well. And so I figured, eh, what the heck, let me give it a shot. I also have on the front end here, the, hold on, so I'm gonna start exploding things. The front end replacement from Foam Demic, which I believe Jade may have done for me in PETG, which honestly, I kid you not, this purple is almost perfect to what I use, which is honestly freaking amazing and I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, so I have that. Uh, you get the retaining thing here and you get the O-ring. Uh, you put the O-ring between the, uh, the front part and the collar because that's basically what holds everything in place. And again, this, if I'm, I'm remiss if I had said this before, cause it's kind of hot and I don't know why I'm a little rambly and I apologize, but, uh, this is one of the Curie barrels, uh, the pink and teal version, which is 45 centimeters, which has been kind of the, yeah, that's the optimal barrel length for this. So if you're going to go for it, you know, pick up one of these, it's works out great. If not, just at least get 45 centimeters. Um, I'm not doing anything with those. So, and then we have the internals here, which I'm just going to wind up, like I said earlier, I'm just going to pull these out. Um, I'm going to have to obviously disassemble a bunch of stuff because I need to paint everything. But yeah, so... I am just going to start taking these things apart. Um, I'm actually, since I can separate this off, probably just take this piece, the I'm not gonna need this spring can go in there. That's not getting painted. And also this bar up here, I'm I'm not going to paint this. Um, I mean, I could, because you can see it through there, but <sighs> honestly, I think it wouldn't be too, too worth it, in my opinions. So I'm just going to leave it as is. I may wind up changing my mind, and when I replace this plunger tube, I'll probably replace it at that point. But, and then we just remove the trigger. And there we go. Now, one thing I will say, whenever it comes to uh, painting anything orange, um, one, it's a huge pain in the butt. So, you know, I, you know, you really have to question whether you really want to do it or not to begin with. But the one thing I will say is I do try and tape off everything that is internal and moving because you do, while yes painting the internals would make it look nicer this is already great i don't have to worry about getting the internals too too much on this but in regards to like on here i took this apart i'm more likely than not going to tape everything off except the two release parts um here a piece of tape is going to go right down the middle because all i need is whatever's going to be visible sticking out and same thing for the trigger everything's going to wind this whole bar is going to get taped off so and then but again that's just basically how I do things so now that I got this all separated I am going to start my taping process my laying out process and then we're gonna go start doing some huh. oh that's right that screw that was there um so I gotta figure out if I can somehow easily pop out the uh, jam door. So I'm going to work on that. If I can figure it out without breaking it, I will let you know. And yeah, I'm gonna just start 
taping off some of the orange pieces and getting to work on this. So see you in a moment. Okay, so it's the next day. My vinyl dry vinyl dye has dried uh, very well. Um, yeah. Oh, this pops off very easily. It's like barely held on. So uh, yeah, comes off very easily, which is nice. Uh, as far as my design is going, I think I'm happy with this because I'm going to have a lot of the gray still on the bottom of this. And with the handle, I'm also just so everything basically from here down isn't just stark gray. Uh, I'm going to actually add a little bit of the purple to the grip as well. Being the lacquer, I'm not too worried about it, like kind of uh, getting too messy and stuff from like sweat or anything like that. I was thinking about, I, and I may still go back and do this section and uh, tape that off. So that will be gray. But essentially, this is how uh, it's going to wind up being. Uh, everything that is taped off is going to stay gray. And then the rest is going to go purple. Um, I may actually, just for giggles, uh, because they're so pr pronounced, I may actually go in after everything is all said and done with my lead belcher citadel paint and possibly just paint these six main screws on each side of it uh, that that uh, gunmetal just to like kind of set those off since it looks like that's where like the main it looks like where you have like a little removable spot uh, but yeah so yeah I'm gonna start. Uh, taping off the other pieces because I've only done one half so far. Um, oh, and I'm depending on how crazy it makes me, I may go in and tape off the um, indents on this and on the other side. Uh, but again, it all depends on how crazy it makes me. So we'll see where that goes. But yeah, I think we're in a good spot. I'm liking how this is. I, visually I think this is going to come out really nice and I'm hoping it will so once I get everything taped off and I get one side done uh, we will remove the tape we'll showcase it and we'll see how well it looks okay so as you can see I've already started putting uh, things back together but because uh, taping is the painting is all said and done and I gotta say, I'm really happy with how this came out. Uh, the purple looks really good as always with the charcoal gray vinyl dye, which I am now completely out of and I have to go get more. But I'm glad I added that little bit of the purple to the grip because it definitely does add to it. And then um, for, you know, that with the red and uh, accessories and everything, it's gonna, things will pop out very nicely and I'm very happy with that. Um, I also do like, I think once I get the lead belcher on those screws on this side and also on the other side, I think that's just going to add that little bit of extra pop to it, which I'm really kind of excited about. Uh, but yeah, I've already started putting things back into, uh, the blaster itself. I'm going to start putting in the additional accessories that I know I'm going to be use, utilizing. Uh, mainly being these rings, for these uh, compression rings, which one will be going here. And I know one goes here, but I want to get the barrel in first for that. That makes no fucking sense! <laughs> so. Oh wait, no, this doesn't, this doesn't work because... I need to put the spring in, duh. Okay, so. Put the compression rings on first. Then I will get the spring. And hopefully this doesn't add too much pre-compression that this now explodes. Okay, it does not, which is a good thing. Get the barrel in there. Let's 
scooch that off for now. But I think everything. Oh, my mistake. Now, everything internally is actually replaced. So I have my Curie barrel. I got the front end piece, which was printed by Foam Demic. Um, I got my grip from out of darts, but that goes on later. So I'm gonna put this all together first, make sure everything is working. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on how I think this came out and let you know how much better this is now working. So I will see you in a moment. Okay, so my final thoughts on how I think my long shot came out. I have to say I am very, very pleased with it. Now I am not going I am not going to say that it's perfect. There are things on here that I do want to change and update in the future. Uh, I'm, I'll just hit those right now. A uh, few things I do want to address are the angled foregrip now or the pump grip. Now I there is nothing wrong with this particular one that I chose. I like it and I am keeping it. I'm not getting rid of it. In fact, this may actually go on my uh, Nexus depending on how well it holds on, uh, so to speak. But yeah, this is totally fine. Um, it's just when I picked everything out, I was off on coloring. Uh, the purple was a little lighter than I was hoping for. And while I was really excited about, ooh, a dark cherry red, it unfortunately doesn't match the red vinyl dye that I used on everything else. So if I want it to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I'm going to probably get another angled foregrip to match the colors a little better. Because uh, just pointing out the front end that I got from Foamdemic, the red for the barrel lug matches the red vinyl dye that I used almost to a T. So it blends in extremely well and very nice, which I'm very happy with. Uh, second thing I want to address is these sights. Yes, I have the standard X shot, long shot uh, sights that came with this thing. And for when I was plinking out in my yard, this actually was heck, the sights were actually working. Uh, so I'm not knocking them. But again, I want to just upgrade to that more tacticalness. Um, I'm either going to get a set of iron sights that fold down and actually flip up. Um, I've found a couple on Amazon already, but at the time of this recording, uh, Prime, Day ha Prime Day has not occurred yet, so I'm going to wait until then to see if I can get good deals, because I also found a short scope that I may want to put on this, which unlike the scopes that I have for my uh, Caliburn and I believe it was for my Swift, but it was on my uh, Nexus for a little bit. Um, those are three by nine scopes. I don't think I'm going to need that much for this, uh, but who knows? But also because of the scope size, I think it would be a little too much just on here since it's the bullpup configuration. So I want to actually get a short scope and I did find one on Amazon and I'll link it down below. Um, I believe it's only seven inches long and it's a two by four, I want to say. But yeah, just that little bit of extra is fine. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I definitely want to replace the plunger tube at some point. Now, there is nothing wrong with the one I have been using. Mine is still in good condition. It has not cracked. It has not uh, shattered. It is still functioning 100% fine. I just want to change it out again for the aesthetics but also for the durability. Um, I have found a couple of people are starting to sell the uh, aluminum tube plunger tubes that have been found. So I think Silver Fox is going to be carrying them in the future. I'm going to wait for them to get it so that I can just pick one up from them and possibly just order a replacement grip from them as well. Um, but yeah. Other than that, um, everything else was, as I had mentioned before, the front piece is the 3D printed replacement that I got from Foamdemic, designed also in conjunction with Valtech. Um, I have the SF25 
uh, TC or Talon Claw Spring in here still, and those two spacers that Chris Harper was so kind enough to send me, which actually did help out with another issue I had previous, which I did not mention because I was wanting to see if this had fixed it, but I'll mention it now. So when I had originally put in the SF-25 in the year, I had an issue with the trigger where not all the time when I was pulling it, it was actually firing. I like really had to put pressure on it to get it to fire. I don't understand why, but once I put the springs in there, every shot I have put through this so far, I have not had that problem since. So I don't know if that was the actual fix for it or if just doing that helped out with in some way, shape, or form, or whatnot. So, yeah, the also the uh, magazine release still works totally good. Now we're getting onto the good stuff on this, and one is the paint job. I'm so happy with how this came out. Like, it looks so good with all of that gray detail that I left on, which I am not gonna lie was a huge pain in the butt to tape all of this gray off in order to paint this up. That took just taping and cutting to make sure everything was good. Honestly, I think took almost as long as it did for me to put all of the paint on this together. Not dry, but definitely paint. Uh, another thing that I'm really happy with how it came out, and I'm glad I did it, was the grip. Uh, putting the purple on in that area, kind of like a reverse of up here, really, really makes the bottom half of this pop and doesn't make it just all bland gray. Uh, so I'm really happy I did that. But yeah, and also the little uh, detailing I did around here by doing those six bolts on that side and the six on this side and the lead belcher, I think it's just a nice little aesthetic feature. Um, as far as now using this with all of those upgrades, uh, this thing still primes pretty easily and still fires like a champ. Like this thing, this thing is shooting lasers and I cannot be happier with it. Um, as far as numbers go with all of these upgrades, I'm averaging in the high 240s at the moment. Um, I want to say maybe on average like 246, 248. Um, the highest I have actually hit with this was 284, uh, but that was so far just one recording that I've done out of it. So take that for what it's worth. But on average, this is staying pretty consistent in the high 240s, which again, I'm very happy with because the only other thing that I have that really kind of does that is my caliber. And that thing is super sprung to high heaven. Um, which I'm thinking about having, thinking about ways of tuning that, hopefully before APOC, which by the way, yes, I am going to be going. Um, but yeah, so I'm very happy with how this came out. Like I said, a couple of things I want to just do a little differently on it, but honest, right now, those are just all really aesthetic changes. Um, but yeah, so... That is where I'm going to end it for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my long shot, how it came out. And if you have one, what have you done to yours? Let me know in the comments down below. I love reading them all. And ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And don't forget, we also have the P.O. Box. So if you want to send us some snail mail, love reading letters. It's a lost art. You should do it. Uh, but again, thank you all for joining us. I will see you guys next time. Later.